Hi, my name is Mike Scott, Applications Engineer for PCB Piezotronics. Proximity probe calibration is one of the most common questions we get. And there are actually two methods of proximity probe calibration. There's static and dynamic proximity probe calibration. A static proximity probe calibration is where the technician measures the DC voltage output from the proximeter at known gaps from the target, 10 mils, 20 mils, 30 mils, and so on, and plots those results on a curve. And it's an excellent calibration method. If there's something wrong with the probe system, which is the probe, extension cable, and proximeter, the technician will find out using that method. The second method is dynamic, where you actually simulate real machinery vibration conditions to create a calibration certificate. And this is a more uh, lesser known method, uh, but its advantage is while you're doing so, you can also system check uh, the vibration monitoring system or loop check the vibration monitoring system, which is a major requirement of the API 670 standard. So by doing a dynamic test where you actually simulate vibration at real machine running speed, not only can you create a calibration certificate, but at the same time, you can make sure that the vibration alert triggers, the vibration shutdown triggers, and all of the shutdown logic triggers. You can test the whole system from the tip of the probe all the way to the shutdown logic, uh, which gives a user terrific peace of mind. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use our portable vibration calibrator with a pre-programmed proximity probe test to create a calibration certificate for proximity probes dynamically in Microsoft Excel three clicks of the mouse, uh, no software other than Microsoft Excel is required. To test the proximity probe dynamically, I have it mounted on top of the shaker table in the probe bridge pointed toward a 4140 steel target. My proximity probe output is 198 millivolts per mil and I'm shaking at one mil peak to peak at 3600 CPM. If I press the file button, I get a pass fail notification in this case, I receive a pass notification because the output of the proximity probe is between the upper and lower bounds of 190 to 210 millivolts per mil. That's a plus or minus 5% tolerance for my five meter system. And now I can move very quickly through the test, two mils peak to peak, 3600 CPM, press the file button again, and I'm notified that the sensor passes. The next test point is three mils peak to peak, at 3600 CPM, and I get a pass notification again. At four mils peak to peak, this is where I may have my vibration alert or even a lower level perhaps. So if I'm teed off of the calibrator, I can make sure that the vibration alert in the monitoring system triggers as well uh, while I create my calibration certificate. And again, I pass five mils, pass again. I'm going to continue this test all the way to 10 mils peak to peak, stopping every one mil and this test is automated. I just need to hit the file button to go from point to point. Six mils, we pass again. Seven mils at 3600 CPM, we pass. And at eight mils, this may be where my vibration shutdown occurs. So um, per API 670, I really wanna make sure that the shutdown logic works in this case, the time delays work, and the turbine or compressor will actually shut down when I simulate eight mils peak to peak vibration at 3600 CPM. And again, we pass at this point, uh, nine mils. By the way, I always recommend that uh, technicians test at the actual running speed of the machine on which the proximity probe is installed. So that's why I've chosen 3600 CPM. It's a typical running speed for a, uh, a gas turbine. Uh, 198 millivolts per mil at 10 mils peak to peak, 3600 CPM is my final test point, and again we pass. So I was notified after each point that my proximity probe is within tolerance and the calibration passes. On this screen, I can enter my model and serial number if I choose, or I can do so in Microsoft Excel later on, and then I can save the record to the memory of the calibrator by pressing save. At this point, I can export my saved records to the supplied USB drive by rotating the file button until I see tools, clicking on the USB menu, and the calibrator will read the USB now and give us a copy or move option. And I'm going to choose to copy. Copy would copy the records to the USB and move erases them from the memory of the calibrator and puts them on the USB. I've copied my two records 
and I can eject the USB. And now to actually create my calibration certificate with three clicks of the mouse in Microsoft Excel, all I need to do is remove my USB and insert into a laptop computer or a desktop computer. To create the calibration certificate in Microsoft Excel, we simply insert the USB into the computer, click on the USB disk in Windows Explorer, open the report generation workbook. If it's the first time that you're opening it, it will ask you to enable macros with a yellow drop down box at the top, but this is not the first time that I'm opening it. It would normally appear there. From here for the proximity probe we did a linearity test so I want to click on the linearity data tab and then hit import data from file go back to the USB open up the Cal records folder and the date that we performed the calibration and it was the second record and I will hit now all of my data has imported if I press view certificate you can see my um, calibration certificate for the proximity probe, my linearity plot from 1 to 10 mils, my sensitiv sensitivity was 198.5 millivolts per mil at a test speed of 3600 CPM with a maximum nonlinearity of 0.03 percent. Raw data is found on the data table at the left and the date and time is automatically inserted into the bottom of the report. Thanks for watching. By using Microsoft Excel and our Model 699A07 Portable Vibration Calibrator, we were able to create a NIST traceable uh, calibration certificate for our proximity probe dynamically rather than statically with three clicks of the mouse. No software required. For more information on our Model 699A07 or A06 Portable Vibration Calibrators, Please visit our website and thanks again.